Welcome back. That was our descent to hell. Okay, listen. That we had listen. Do you see those things in the air? Tell me they don't look like little grocery store turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're clouds, right? I get that they're clouds, but the art style makes them look like little rotisserie chickens. Well, knowing you, I'm surprised it was that uh, simple of a concept. I was expecting, like, does that not look like uh, bloody cum? Just because, you know. Kyle, what do you, you take are? me for? Metallica? Get it? I guess. <laughs> uh, I, I don't get it. What do you, what do you think <laughs> you are? The kid who arrested Metallica? Oh, uh, okay. Aquid. No. <laughs> they had a, they had an album that was called, like, Blood and Semen, didn't they? I, I don't, or they wanted it no. called that, and they had to change it. Or something like that. Someone back me up in the comments. Somebody, like and subscribe if you know what the fuck I'm you trying to say. You think someone's watching episode 7 of Decap Attack right now? Some sad <laughs> and confused soul out there. Let Who, YouTube autoplay for 12 hours. Attack ends. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was watching fucking, uh, you know, uh, someone was watching Saber Spark or, or Oni Plays and it auto played for 12 hours because their suicide attempt failed and then, you know, they came to and this was on. You think we're getting served on Oni Plays videos <laughs> playlist? I'm just trying brainstorming <laughs> things that are tangentially related. I'm talking if you let it go a real long time, you know? Yeah, and, and, the, and the numbers started getting fucky. Hmm. All roads lead to Oni plays. So, oh, realistically, this is what's going to happen, Keith, is what's going to happen is you are going to be watching this episode when it <laughs> comes out, and you're going to look it up, and you're going to leave a comment saying, See? I'm going to look what up? <laughs> oh. You're going to look up whatever the fuck the... In 40... No, I don't... In 40 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I'm preparing my there, suicide there bath. <laughs> Yeah, this this is what you put on like the huge CRT TV that you've had like restored for nostalgia's sake, and and this is what you choose to play on it before you push it into the tub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to die to decap attack. <laughs> That's sad. Uh, it would it would be uh, oh, poetic. It is not a warrior's death. Oh. You just straight up melted. Oh yeah, it's true. Uh, you know, by, like the Valkyries will not stop by if either you died of disease or if you were playing Decap Attack. Or, or adjacent to Decap Attack. Yeah. Wait, what if I get the, the coronavirus? The word is adjacent. What if I get Keith, the word is adjacent? I? I, I know we've ridiculed you endlessly about your pronunciation of almost every word you say, but, but this one I feel. Nick, he doesn't know any better. He's, that, that one needs a revisit. He's from a nonsense place. That's not even uh, pronunciation. That's emphasis. Haha, <laughs> 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 see what he did there? Which is still part of your pronunciation, you shit. Ah, Nick got my god. <laughs> Watch that snail this sink. Is, uh, this is the value of learning, like, uh, parts of like grammar and speech and just English in general is being able able to more accurately and powerfully ridicule your friends. Yeah, I mean that's why anyone learns grammar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because so you could be a, a fucking chode to everybody. They're like, ah, excuse me, it's yeah. I'm doing well, not good. <laughs> So you're always ready with uh, a response that includes the phrase, you fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't feel like I need to give you the extra ammo, though, Nick. You're kind of, you're quick <laughs> on the draw. You got a itchy trigger finger with that I word. You're at island. <laughs> it's true. It is always on the tip of my tongue. Either that or coward. <laughs> you idiot coward. That's how you know you've made him really mad. <laughs> well, considering where I live, both are <laughs> applicable at all times. I suppose. I suppose I have to hand it to you there, friend. I gotta give you that one, Pilgrim. I gotta give it to <laughs> you. You're right about one thing, you're right about that. Oh, man. <laughs> ah. All right, so last level is the floating rotisserie chicken realm. Seems like something they would do on Ren and Stimpy, am I right, fellas? Oh, man, I'm gonna have to eat again after this. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I don't know, it does kind of remind me of that episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie where they were, like, oh. obsessed with learning how things work, and uh, it became, like, a total acid trip. That was the least and, relatable episode. Yeah, and, and, and stupid Ed pulled a cloud out of the sky, and he's like, caught in gravy! Yeah. Then he bit Kinda it. makes me think of that. Did you just find the Holy Grail? Yeah, I guess so. Who gives <laughs> a fuck? That down at the bottom of the lake. Oh. At your bottom of the lake, guided God's by favorite the, cup. the simpering fishmen, you know, 
Just like they said in Corinthians. Uh, we were having a discussion the other day about Indiana Jones, and like one person said that they didn't like Indiana Jones movies because they're not big on uh, fantasy. I always root for the Nazis. Well, everyone was saying like it's not a, they're not fantasy movies. They're like action adventure. But then we started digging deeper about how like there are a lot of fantastical elements in Indiana Jones, and I started list, listing things off. I was like, oh yeah, there's like the the magic rocks that burn your hands if you pray, and like the fucking voodoo priest who tore a dude's chest uh, heart out of his chest, and he was still alive. Yeah, and, Nazis uh, being a thing. Well. What? <laughs> the joke was no, not. Never mind, never mind. Yeah. Go, yeah, go, yeah. go, Nick. Go, continue. <laughs> this... <sighs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, I have a fun. See? There it is. Right on the tip of the tongue. Uh, but no, I, I, I specifically, um, I glanced over the Holy Grail and uh, and the, the Ark of the Covenant. I, I said, uh, oh yeah, you got uh, God's favorite cup. God is <laughs> and real. You don't... Yeah, and da, 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 uh, God's da, da, da. Uh, box of... Or the box of God's favorite ghosts, yes. and if you look at it, it'll melt your face. And some people were like getting a little bit upset. <laughs> I guess at how lightly I was taking holy relics. Well, well, you know. Well, if you think about it, that's apparently what they were. You know. Oh. Oh, another chastity belt. Hey, here's another fun fact about yeah. uh, 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 Indiana Jones. Did you know he was originally supposed to fuck a twelve-year-old? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Or well, no, it's not even that. It's like it, uh, uh, Marion, I think, yeah. says something about like, yeah, how they had a fling however long ago, Fuck. but like based on how old she is, then, uh, yeah, it's like if you do the math, it turns out she was the time period she's talking about. Yeah, she die. was like twelve. Yeah. So, and he's a kitty fiddler. So, yeah. What was it like? A, a lack of paying attention to details, or was it just? George Lucas. Oh, it was definitely on purpose. <laughs> I think they, uh, I think they, uh, explained it at one point. It was like, oh, well, it, it, it was normal back then. <laughs> I think we can say, that's, uh, uh, that's not really doing yourself any favors. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I think at this point we can safely Don't assume anyone in, uh, fucking, like, media, like Hollywood, TV, Nickelodeon, they're <laughs> fed, uh, they're pederasts and, and foot freaks, a lot of them. This is the last yep. boss. Yeah, it is. Okay, I think. Fuck. Which, yeah, it sure is. Which is why we gotta stop doing this show. <laughs> oh, we you gotta save before. Oh yeah, that's right. You save before the fucking bosses. If you suck. I out. uh, I hope. Fuck. He. I hope there's a butt pole in this level. Ah. Uh, well, we haven't passed a single one, so I think you're fucked. Yeah, I sure am. I think it's safe to say I'm <laughs> fucked, boys. Can you not get health from any other source? Yeah, there's uh, statues sometimes contain hearts, but uh, gee willikers, fellas, I just haven't seen one. Oh, wait, fuck. Speak of the damn devil. A butt pole. Oh. Hey, hey. How did I, I miss that the first time? over it last time. A butt pole. Thank God. Hey, fellas, we found a butt pole. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> just in time. <laughs> We're saved! Hey, quit hogging that butthole. <laughs> oh, yeah, butt quit hogging the butthole! I need to turn on it. Boing! <laughs> <laughs> I need to get on that butthole. Hey, wait a second. You used up all the butthole over there. <laughs> there was nothing left for us. <laughs> There's no butthole left for us. <laughs> you used all hey, the butthole. Hey, boss, butt it ain't working. <laughs> hey, boss, this butthole's tap dry. <laughs> Ah, fiddlesticks. <laughs> this butt pole. What do you mean the butt pole's all used up? Someone got to this butt pole before we did. <laughs> hey, boss. Oh, duh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Like an old, old timey train robber, like, throws his head on the ground and starts stomping on it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. <laughs> Lord, save us. Ah, my kingdom for a butt pole. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something I'll do <laughs> I'll get strong again. Well, I mean, if this is the last boss, you might as well blow everything you got. Yeah. yeah. Sure I am. But I'm going to save until he's a little weaker, so I'm more confident that I'll actually <laughs> make it. He's like a, a fucking cat <laughs> trying to spit up a hairball. Uh-oh, you're going to make Keith get hard, so stop making that sound. <laughs> <laughs> True, I can't uh, can't feed him. Uh, no, this that does remind me, though, of... Um, there's a guy on a on a Discord that that we're all on separately. Uh, 
where this guy was in the middle of a game jam and he he wanted to make a game. It ended up being called Herc. And it was all about a cat <laughs> trying to get outside to eat grass and then make oh. it back inside to, to vomit. vomit on its owner's rug. Oh, that's a cool idea yeah, for a game. It, it needed to get inside to throw up on the rug, and that's the whole point of the game. <laughs> um, that's a he, good idea. But he didn't have, like, he needed to get uh, sound effects, so I said, hey, I'm not doing anything today. I'll make some sound effects. Oh, we got a library. And so I spent, yeah, I spent an afternoon uh, just hanging out with my microphone and a re uh, audio recorder, and I was just like, <laughs> 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 I was taking like uh, sopping wet paper towels and throwing them on the floor and recording that. <laughs> and I was like, I was, I was making all kinds of sounds, and then um, Foley artist, add that to your resume. Yeah, I could technically, but uh, yeah, I, I showed that to a friend of mine because like I just wanted her to see the game. And then, uh, yeah, She's she said like, something <laughs> about, like, these are the worst sound effects I've ever heard. Like, that's completely disgusting. And I was like, oh, good. I'm glad you think so. What the hell is wrong with that. you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And you say you have a job? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, with a paycheck, yes, and, and you pay taxes and all that. Hmm. Oh, thank merciful God. We've made it to the very end of Decap Attack. Strap in, boys. We get to enjoy the Where cinematic with a twist ending. Oh. Oh, What's I, the twist ending? Like you, do we it, get to enjoy the fruits of our suffering? This uh, wasn't the game at all the whole time? The fruits of our suffering. The twist is oh that two God, men playing goodness. the game turn gay! <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Chuck. Good job, Chuck. We bombed your house. Now Max Decap's evil plan is totally bungled. Wait, aren't you Max Decap? No, I'm Chuck D. Head, you fuck. Oh. Don't you learn? Don't you pay attention? No. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and Chuck D. Head was hunted by the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fortunately, the the heat-seeking cameras don't work on him, so he was, able to <laughs> he was shot. <laughs> he was shot re-dead by uh, FBI snipers, uh, yeah. ferried by helicopter, running, oh. running through the woods of rural Tennessee until he arrived at the Laverne Public <laughs> Library. <laughs> Uh, where two men were fresh back from fucking after playing Decap Attack. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's Chuck, the twist. you've done it. You've awakened something in us. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, I'm something below even a furry on the grand hierarchy of life. I don't know what to call it. Uh, just dragging his ass and I'm going to pick him up. Better let us take care of you. Watch your knees on the yeah. fucking curb of the house. Bam! Oh. Well, he's dead. Well, I mean, either they, they bring him back, they heal him, and he's got to be thankful, or he dies, oh. and they don't have to worry Look. about come up and He's getting a hand job as a reward. <laughs> you deserve a reward. Here's your happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to attach a dick, and then Igor here is going to break it in for you. <laughs> <laughs> See? With a, with a fresh game of decap attack. <laughs> See, they're thinking it's pretty damn funny. Yeah. They're both grinning up a storm. That was the whole plan. It was, a, you know, a prank. The, the world was never in danger. That monster was just a hologram. <laughs> they killed a man, mummified wow. him, and then sent him on this quest just for the punchline to be... Here's oh, your they made him the little boy from the Japanese version. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. Fuck. I feel cross-eyed. Is everything <laughs> supposed to look like this? Uh, yeah, that'll wear off after a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it is Charlie. Whatever. Yeah, and, uh, you know, so, you know, the, the twist ending, they forgot to put his dick on before they <laughs> re-energized him. Well, I will say one thing that's kind of weird is, like, the doctor is not wearing glasses. He just doesn't have pupils to his eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah, he doesn't have glasses on. What the frig? <laughs> Maybe those are supposed to be those glasses that pinch onto the bridge of your nose. What are those called? You know. He's the milk-eyed freak. He's the Kyle of this group. And look, there's <laughs> there's Nick on the left, and <laughs> I guess I just got brought back to life. That happened just before we played this game. <laughs> yeah. They didn't, snap, they didn't clap at you to get up. Uh, did you notice that one of the guys... <laughs> hey, the, hey, get up, you fucking freak! That guy's name is Bigfoot. fingers in his face. Did you notice that last guy's name was Bigfoot? Yes, it was. Yeah, and this guy's, yeah. Rich Producer, man. rich man. And purportedly one of the people right, who made the guys, game was a well, doctor. if you've never seen the end of Decap Attack, you're welcome. Uh, and we're oh, sorry. I think that's yeah, just how we they're... are sorry. But you can still join us next time on Worst Men Play. Mm -hmm.